I think it's Christmas everyone. No, not because of the nostalgic feeling of my parents fighting. It's not because of that. It's because I found my new favourite Morrowind mod. Ah, uh, you know me by now. Just like a true YouTuber, I don't exaggerate or blow things out of proportion at all. But this mod right here, this is a good one. If you're a fan of Mickey D, you're gonna like this mod. The mod is called Pikachu Race, Cursed Content and Other Things. Now I don't want to go too much into what this mod is because I don't want to spoil the surprise. So what this mod does is that it adds a very cursed race to Morrowind. It also adds an occupied house in Sedanine, which is absolutely not a six town secret base and there's another secret in Balmora. Also keep in mind as you can probably guess from the screenshots this mod isn't lore friendly so I don't want to dwell too much on the mod page because I don't want to spoil what this mod is so we're gonna jump right into it. I'll see you in the mod. Oh I'm excited. All right so we're getting into it. We're getting in. I love the black screen. I love the black void. It's all in our future. Come on game. Don't break on me now. Don't break on the one day I need this mod to work. This is the greatest mod to ever grace the world. There we go. Took your time. Come on Geob. I want to get started. What's your name? I can barely hear him over the triumphant Morrowind music. Good old Morrowind. So I'm going to call my character Bon Bean Jovi. Here you are Geo, we'll make you louder. You killed all the cliff racers, you deserve to be a little loud in the mix. I've never shown off Morrowind's introduction on my channel before, I'm just joking, we're gonna skip ahead, right? Quiet. Don't tell me to be quiet, you prick. Oh, get past, I can never get past him. I'd be a terrible speedrunner, I can't even get past the guard in the intro. I like how I say I'd be a terrible speedrunner, as if I'm not already am. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think there's the new Sedanin household. Oh, here's the new race, Pikachu. <laughs> I think that's actually how Pikachu was spelt in one of the Morrowind Easter eggs. So there's a Pokemon Easter egg in Morrowind, and we're gonna find this Easter egg after this mod showcase has ended. So stick around for that. But it adds this new Pikachu race. <laughs> so it has electric types. It has resist paralysis. That's pretty cool. And it has shock damage. That's pretty cool. Alteration destruction. Oh, it's very good at magic because it's a mage. I guess it. Its eyes are scaring me. It has no eyebrows. Does Pikachu have eyebrows? I don't know. Oh, I'm tiny. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I'm so small. I don't like all the men looking down on me. Just reminds me of my real life. I'm so small on the floor. This is brilliant. This is my favorite mod ever. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. I don't like this angle I'm looking at. I don't like this at all. You know what? This is going to be the one Morrowind video where I actually pick a mage. Because why not? I'll just give him the info though because I can't be bothered. I feel like he's going to crush me with his shoes. I'm a Pikachu called Bon Bean Jovi. Oh, we're moving so quick. Anyway, I'll close the door behind me, it's very polite. Oh. <laughs> oh no, 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 I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, he's so small and dizzy. Is this a bad time to say I've never watched Pokemon? <laughs> Hello, father, tis me. Do you not recognize me? Mom always said you were a bit of a pump and dump. He's so built for what he is, he's short and stout. I wouldn't want to fight him. Would you want to fight him? I picked up the ring very fast there. Maybe I should be a speedrunner. Give me my... D give me my... Just a dude. Give me my doodoo. Ha ha ha. Wide wave subscribers. Hi, Fairgoss. Am I shorter than Fairgoss? I am. I'm smaller. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. I don't think I want your help, but I'm just the new Farragut now. Oh, everyone's looking down on me. I don't like this. This is like one of those naughty videos online. Anyway, good talk. <laughs> he just walked away from me. I would too. So where's that new house? It was like over here, right? Oh, here it is. So the mod said this wasn't a sixth house base and I'm going to believe it. Also, while we're in this house, we're going to have to find a key and I'm going to get to that in a second. This is actually Vanilla Morrowind. It's the version you get from downloading it from the Bethesda launcher. Shrine of Nerevar. I don't want to make a donation to myself. <laughs> anyway, yep, those are Bionicle masks. Hello there, Pikachu. Looking for a good time? No. How old is Pikachu? That's disgusting. I'm gonna turn you in. I want to be the very worst that no one ever watches. I'm well on my way to that. Here's a sixth house ash cult helmet. Can I equip a Bionicle mask as Pikachu? Yes, I can. That's a void. So that's what they got there looks like under the mask. That's terrifying. Hello boys, how you doing? Mommy, it's my man. Silver Staff is shaman. I'm gonna give that to you. Enjoy it. There's my offering. There's a sixth house bell hammer. That's very good. I'm not good at blunt weapons, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I am. I'm a mage character. <laughs> okay, so while we're here, we have to find a key. Oh, there's a detect key potion and everything. I've never properly used a detect key potion in this game. What's this stuff? There's moon sugar, I can sell that to Revere. Common robes, common stuff. More moon sugar, I can sell that to Revere. Scoop my pipe, I can sell that to Revere. I like how there's just so many portions of the tech key. It's like the mod owner knows I'm terrible at finding things. Scoop I have loads to sell to Revere. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. I don't think he buys moon sugar off me just to sell. Guide to take off her. The dreamer is awake. I'm barely awake. So it's a good one. So I know where the key is in advance, just so I'm not here looking for it all day, but I'm gonna use detect key. And yeah, it appears on the mini-map. It appeared for like a split second. Oh no, wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was one second, one second, one second. So here's some parchment with some scrawlings. White is white of all white. They're talking about Silver the Hedgehog. Black is blacks of all blacks. They're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Stronger than gods, brighter than morals. I still don't think this is a sixth house base. They're just talking about Jesus. Yeah, Lord, see? That's because Jesus is a good friend of mine. Here's the key to the bonus p Harry. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. That's right, everyone. The bean room from the Harry Potter PC games is now in Morrowind. Did I will this into existence or did the mod creator just make this just for the lulz? There's Pikachus, there's Bionicles, there's a bonus bean room. I can't wait to find it. Hello, I'm tiny. Can you bring me to Balmora? Oh, it's a nice old day in Balmora. Now, if you don't know, Revere will actually buy all of your drugs and narcotics. Without judging you, he's a good mate. I should stop killing him for his Daedric weapons in all my videos. I should stop doing that. Hello, my friends. We're the best of buds, aren't we? You can have all the moon sugar in the world. 452 gold. You can have my skooma pipe. You don't want a skooma pipe? You'll take the drugs, but not the pipe to smoke it. That's pretty hardcore. I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. Okay, so what we need to do is there's some doorways under the bridges. I think it's under the bridge around here. There's supposed to be a secret. That's what I was told. Can Pikachu swim in the anime? I think that's the door. <laughs> I think we found it. It's just implanted onto the bridge. Location of the key. Oh, it just tells you. To whom it may concern, I've not left the key in Not House they got, which is not our secret base in Sadanin. So if you wanted to actually find the key yourself, this would be a, a good tip on how to find it. Look, I know this mod might not be very lore friendly, but I think it fits. <laughs> key to the bonus bean room used. We're in the bean room. I need to turn off the Morrowind music and uh, play the Harry Potter music. I found a bonus bean room. Can I collect the beans? A bean. A bean. A bean. A bean. A bean. I found it. Oh, this is the best day of my life. There's a holy mask of life. That's a proper bionicle mask. Fortify health, 50 points. Resist common disease, 40%. Oh, those are beans, they're not ice. I want to equip the eye beans. There we go, I got a better bionicle mask. Just the Mandalorian looks great, doesn't it? Is this an ingredient? Am I invisible? I'm an invisible bionicle. Now they can see me. Now the world can see my shame. Oh, it has the knights and everything. This is like really well detailed to like the Harry Potter bonus bean room. And it goes into the wells and everything. Oh, that's great. Now, the funny thing about this is that I found the model for the bonus bean room in Harry Potter before, and I'm wondering if it can be converted properly into Morrowind. I was able to open it with like 3D World Viewer and Blender and stuff a while back, but I'm wondering if that can be used so we can bring the actual bonus bean room into Morrowind. Now, the only thing is adding all the textures and all that to Morrowind would be really painstaking, so no one has to do that if they don't want to. And there's loads of muck and everything inside. This feels like a tribute to me. There's magic bone meal. Can I eat the magic? bone meal it restores intelligence well that won't work for me i'm too very gone so yeah here's the bonus bean room from harry potter specifically from chamber of secrets and prisoner of azkaban there better be a bonus bean room in hogwarts legacy this is the best mod ever of course i had to check this out it was a pretty fun one i love these dumb stupid morrowind mods morrowind is a game that takes itself way too seriously and this is why i love these stupid dumb little mods like this i want to see if pikachu can hold his own hello ordinator and so, the so-called Morrowind expert confuses the Halalu guards with ordinators once again. I was tired when recording this, I don't know. I'm tired now. I want to go to sleep, but the Dark Brotherhood will attack me. There is no escape! Oh god, he's here. How you doing, pal? Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> there is no escape! I know, I'm too small. Can you even catch me? Have you ever seen a more beautiful sight of Morrowind? Oh, he's catching up to me. Oh no, come on, don't die, Pikachu, don't die. He's not as powerful as he is in the anime. Thank you to the mod creator for creating this mod. So big shout out to Shiel. I hope I said your name right. Cheers for the amazing mod. Even the Halalu guards are looking down at me. Did I call him an ordinator again? I called him an ordinator again. The Halalu guards. I know loads about Morrowind. All right, so I figured this video was going to be a bit short. So I figured what we'd do, just have a bit of fun. We're going to go to the ruin where the Pikachu reference is. I think it's down past Vivek in one of these places, so around here. Since we're playing like a magic character, I do have Thunder Shock for 10 points. I guess I could get some Magicka stuff from Aril. I just reloaded my first save. I forgot to make a save when I finished off the mod showcase of this video. Whoops. You can have that, Aril. You can have my silver stuff as well. I think this would be fun. I've never seen the Pokemon Easter egg tomorrow and i think it'd be pretty fun to go out and venture to it i think that'd be pretty epic as the pikachu character
Oh, did she just call Pikachu an outlander? What a nice lady. We're gonna go back into the sixth house area, actually. There is this staff I can take. I could also take the Bionicle hat once again for protection. Now, is there any actual useful stuff? I can sell this for gold, I guess. I want to prepare a little bit before we head off to find the Easter egg because we're pretty low level. I'll take all the moon sugar. That's very good. Wasn't there a skooma in here? I think there was skooma in the bean room. So what we might do is visit the bean room and get the good items. So we're gonna travel back. I wanna get the good items. Then we're gonna feck off over to the tomb and find the Pikachu reference. I think the wiki was saying it's like an underground Dwemer ruin. So I'm just gonna travel out to the area. I haven't researched much about the tomb itself. I think this would be kind of fun. You've just seen me loot these areas before. So I'm gonna skip all this. I'm gonna loot the bean room and we'll get to Balmora. We'll do a bit of preparation and then we'll travel off. The beans are only worth three each. Bone meal's not worth much. I can take all the muck. I can take the ruby. I missed this. Uh, Harry's turpos. What the fuck the Harry turpos? I can't do anything with it. Harry's turpos. I should probably know about that considering I play Harry Potter a lot. Okay, there's our prep. Um, I took most of the steel armor too, so we should be good. What I want is some nice mage robes for Pikachu and maybe some magic and healing potions. I think that'd be pretty dope. I don't know if I took the skooma. I forgot to take the skooma. I was ever. I have loads of moon sugar anyway. Revere will be delighted. Hi Revere, I can have my moon sugar. 173, all right, that's fair. Now to sell off my steel stuff. It's actually worth quite a bit. How much is the Bionicle helmet worth? Because it's heavy, I can't wear heavy armor or it'll reduce my spell effectiveness. Sure, 350. I like how the only time I ever make a mage character in Morrowind is because I was essentially forced into it. So here's some standard restore magicas. You just get them free. There's some scrolls here. I can just sell the scrolls back to the woman up here. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. Here's the scrolls he gave me for free. There you are, give me money. Thanks. This is the real Morrowind 20th anniversary video. Here you go. Do you buy books? No. Do you buy beans? She'll buy all my beans, good woman. Do you want all my muck? I have 64 muck. That represents all the bits in Mario 64. What I do want is a good stock of healing. Actually, what I will need... Do you water walking? We're gonna have to do a bit of swimming. We're gonna be fighting some slaughterfish. That's gonna be fun. Okay, so let's go to Vivek. Let's go to this tomb. I need to see the Pokemon reference. I need to get Pikachu some major robes. What was that about? What you mean me? <laughs> He's so cute. Are you my mummy? Do you have any nice robes? Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got one. I'll take some nice shoes too. Uh, would you look at that? Now I look all proper. Yeah, like I believe it's off the coast around Vivek. So we're going to go travel around there. I've never seen this cave before. I never would have noticed there's like caves and stuff just off of Vivek. So it's a sunken Dwemer ruin. That's going to be pretty cool to check out. 20 gold. Is my money as a Pokemon worth it to you? Oh, would you look at this? Morrow and pretty. Vivek and the evening light and everything. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a lot of swimming. I guess I could travel down to Ebonheart? There is the boat person down here, and this will save us a bit of a trip. I'm not looking forward to the swimming, but I can use my newfound magical abilities on the slaughterfish. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna swim. Give me two ticks. We're making a slight change in course. There's my friend. There's good old Tower Heel. Sorry about that, but can I wear the Clovian fur hat? That's what I came for. Screw the scrolls. I could have taken his robe while I was at it. Ah, never mind. I like the robe I'm wearing. Good old mage, Pikachu. So as you've probably guessed, we're gonna go back to Vivek and we're gonna try and jump to that island. Or at least to where the tomb is. It's like sunken underground a bit. Alright. Where's my scrolls? Scroll Vicarian flight. Here we go. I'm gonna chance this. I'm probably gonna hit the canton. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, no, I won't. I'm going pretty far. I'm going too far, maybe. Am I gonna hit ground? I might. Uh... Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I've gone too far. Oh, I've gone way too far. I think that's where we want to go. Because I went really far out. What happens if you swim all the way to the edge of the map? Does it loop back around like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? Or does it just block you off? I think it probably blocks you off. Oh no, it's going to start raining and everything and I'm in the water. Do slaughterfish not spawn this far out? I shouldn't have said anything. I can see them. Oh, there they are. Take my shock. Take my shock. Oh, come on, spell. Can I not cast shock underwater? Can I do fire bite? Their fire bite works. The shock just not work in water. I can't even see the island now because of the rain. I'm getting turned around. Now I know how Tom Hanks feels from that one survival movie. Turner and Hoosh. I think the ruin entrance is here. And there's lightning to welcome my arrival as an electric type Pokemon. I look like fucking Sonichu. He has no fingernails or anything. I don't like that at all. I think it's underwater, the wiki was saying. I mean, my mind told me because I'm very experienced with Morrowind. Okay, so I'm looking for like a sunken underground entrance. It better actually be around here. That could be it. Maybe? Go away. Don't get up your fists. You can't fight him. Magic's pretty OP. Who would have thought? It's not like people have told me that multiple times over. That's not a cave entrance, right? No, it is not. A good tip if you're trying to find something underwater in an Elder Scrolls game, and I guess Fallout 2 for that matter, is to put your head slightly underneath, like, the surface of the water, because you can kind of see through like this. I might even be in the wrong area. 
Please don't tell me I am. Oh, here we go, here we go. I found it, I found it. So, what's the name of this place? Mudan Grotto. Okay, I think we're here. We're looking for someone in the right tower, I believe it's called. I've never seen this ruin before. I'm probably gonna drown. Uh-oh. I need air. I need air. I need air. I need air. I'm drowning. You don't even lose that much health. Okay, now it's gonna be a little dark in here. Okay, more swimming. Don't get stuck. I don't need to get stuck right now. Can I not get breath from that? Oh, you're teasing me, game. You're teasing me. Come on. Okay, well, I'm gonna swim down here. I have hair shield, I guess, if I need it. I need to use my health bear as a breath bear. Swimming in games just makes me anxious. Oh, is that just a big pearl? Is that all that is? That's a small collop. What's a big one look like? Is it just because I'm a tiny Pikachu? Probably I'm gonna reload because I'm dying. I think I've mentioned this in a video before, but what determines the length of breath in Elder Scrolls games? Because in Oblivion, I think like the higher level you get, the more breath you get, like underwater. Is it determined by your level? I think Morrowind has a similar system. Because in Oblivion, it definitely feels like you can hold your breath longer the more you go through the game. I'm just wondering what governs that attribute or specific skill. Uh, get some healing in. Don't fail the spell. There's slaughterfish all around me. Just go, just go. Is this the right tower? This is the Lost Dwemer checkpoint. It's all underwater. This is annoying. We need to find the right tower. I think that's where the Pikachu is. Please heal. Okay, we got some healing. Now give me some breath. Oh, this is just making me anxious. Is that a slaughterfish behind me? Go away, bud. Take fire bite. Uh oh, I'm out of magicka. Good thing I have potions that I took from the Mage's Guild. I mean, they just give them to you. It's not stealing. There you go. Being a mage is kind of fun. <laughs> I should do this more often. Oh, a centurion. Okay. I'm loving the design of this dungeon. It's pretty cool. There's an armor hammer. The cool thing about being a mage is you don't have to worry about repair that much unless you're like a battle mage or unless you're using like a staff or a weapon. So never mind what I just said. Oh, here's a potion. I'm missing all this stuff because I can't see it all. It's a small ornate chest but nothing in it. That's fun. Okay, I'm looking for one of the towers. Is that the way I came? Great. What if I look on the local map? There's the grotto. It looks like there's a direction there, like leading up. Okay, this place has an interesting layout. Maybe it's back under the water? I don't like being back under the water. Yeah, it has to be down deeper around here, right? Or going deeper. Just gives me so much anxiety swimming in games. I don't like breath meters at all. Oh, go away, there's something chasing after me. It's probably a slaughterfish. Go away, bud. Where are you? It's nipping at my Pokemon yellow fur heels. Okay, are we to a new area? We're getting to the central vault. Okay, okay. It's locked and it's trapped. Oh no, it's locked. Whatever will I do? Hopefully I don't get hurt by the trap. Ah, oh, we're fine. Would you look at this? Oh, there's tough enemies here. So we need to get to the tower from here. Potion of Heroism. Fortify health, 50 points. Restore health, 5 points for 60 seconds. That's overpowered. I've never seen that potion before. I'm finding all new stuff here. I'm glad I added this to the end of the feckin' mod showcase. This is pretty cool. Oh, there's Dwemer stuff. Ooh, that's cool. I don't have any armor skills. You do a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, is this a proper boss fight? Ancestral Ghost. There we go. I got a summon. Don't knock me down. Don't knock me down and I get up again. Oh, he killed my ghost in one hit. You are a boss, aren't you? Come on, come on, come on. I can lure you around. Ooh. We actually can kill him, I think. Uh, it's going to take a while, though. Don't get stuck in the wall. Yeah, we're going to be here a while just grinding this fella and I can't be bothered, so we're going to skip him. <laughs> do you have any good stuff? Uh, not really. Uh, do you have any loot? Oh, the Dwemer stuff. Yeah, give me that. A hammer, sure. Uh, don't stop for loot. Stop stopping for loot. Oh, there's stuff in there. There's another vault door. Is there good stuff in here? Well, I'm gonna check. Or is this fire 100%? Oh, that's really good. I'm just exploring this. I know I'm using console commands, but I really want to explore this place. I'm like interested now. Okay, just raw. I don't think there's anything here. It's just a vault. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. How do I get to the tower? It has to be down around here, right? I did not expect this tune to be so large. I just want to find the Pikachu reference. That's all a man wants. That's all a Pikachu wants in life. Are these blocked off? Okay, there's a way here. This looks promising. This looks promising. This looks like a tower area. But he's of fish. He's just stuck in the floor, poor fella. Oh, the right tower. Wait. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage bad. There we go. Now we're getting health. Okay. I think that's the fella. Corpse of Peak Uchu. We found him. Iron Claymore. He was pretty built. He had some good defense. Why did you die about Dwarven Claymore? Okay, this place has some pretty good loot. To all the Morrowind fans, go to this tomb if you're pretty high level. I'm level one. So, um, yeah. Oh, there's some good stuff here. There's emeralds. I'm gonna eat that. There's raw ebony. I'm gonna eat that. 
steel keg fire salts sure scrap metal all right steel keg a fucking emerald sure eat that eat the scrap metal thank you all for watching the morrowind pikachu pokemon easter egg video thing mod showcase stuff i got a really good sword now there's the corpse of pikachu do you have anything on you oh do i have more coins do i have more table i checked like the vault do I have more table? Okay, we're gonna go back to the vault real quick. I wanna see what the loot is. I don't think I noticed like a locked table when I was in there last time. Like the central room. There you are. Uh, one second now. Console commands are actually lore friendly. They have something to do with Coda or fucking, I, I don't know. This is probably the key to here. So table, I'm looking for a table. Okay, so the table is in here around. I wanna know what's in that table. I have to find out. I didn't want the mod showcase video to be so short and now it's a, it's become this huge dungeon delving thing. I didn't mean for this at all, but hey, it was a fun bit of side tracking. So the table has to be back around this way, right? I hate swimming. I hate swimming. In video games, swimming in real life is good exercise. It is, it is good. Is the table in here? Table. Do I remember table? Oh, that's a table. But it doesn't need a key. Don't tell me I'm stuck on the table. I almost got stuck on the table. There's another table. Oh, a Dwarven Spear. It's pretty good. I don't know what sound they just made there, but... Here we go. Rusted Steel Dwemer Table. Oh, and it just gives you a key to the vault. <laughs> so it's a bit of a puzzle. Okay, what a great way to end off. Fantastic. I didn't waste your time. What was that sound? That scared the life out of me. I'm scared of spiders. I'm agoraphobic. 